Good morning. Cheers, Bubs. We, oh, I should take a sip. It's bad luck not to take a sip, right? Yep. We're having our coffees and just waiting to be collected by our tour operator. We are going to, I want to say Allegria. Allegria Falls. I think is the right way to pronounce it. To do canyoneering. And the reason we're not going to the more famous Kawasan Falls is because they have been closed to canyoneering ever since COVID. They're actually opening in a few days time, but we'll be gone by then. So we've decided to just go to another set of falls because we don't really want to miss out on the experience. Most of this is going to be filmed on the GoPro for obvious waterproofing reasons. So if the sound quality seems a little bit off, then that's the main reason. Again, 
the biggest one on this entire trip. This is almost what Tom Daly jumps Whoa! off at the Olympics. Olympic diving is up to 10 meters and we're doing 8 or 9 meters, so it's really high. going to Joe's family house to have lunch that his mom has cooked for us but I just want to say that like the guides were so friendly and kind and helpful from like offering us a hand over the rocks or pulling us up rocks holding our life jackets so we didn't fall yeah. we were just treated so incredibly well it just made the whole experience what it's ended up being and we have the best group of people who we've also done the tour with, by the way. Exactly. Yeah. So there are complaints about any of that. You know. <laughs> Just like that, we are now back after a truly epic lunch and an overall epic experience. I can't reiterate enough how much fun that was, how unique an experience that was. I've never done anything like that in my entire life. 
I don't know if I'll get to do something like that again because I don't know where else in the world it exists. When we're traveling, I like to do things that I can't do back home in Canada. And that was definitely one of those experiences. Uh, because it's so unique, then you obviously want to make sure that you're going through the right tour operator. So with that, then we want to say a massive thank you to PH Kawasan Canyoneering. They took such good care of us. They did everything so professionally. We were so well taken care of, not just from the perspective of actually doing the activity itself, but the pickup was absolutely on time. We had a little bit of trouble trying to get money out of specific ATMs, but they were extremely patient, took us to the right ones. And then more or less the whole experience from being picked up to being dropped off has just been lovely. Yeah, they are so efficient. It is a well-oiled machine. Their equipment is in very good condition. They have everything for you to borrow. It's all included. They just take you to where you need to be on time, get you on a bike, get you off a bike, whatever the case may be. Mm -hmm. The guides know such good angles and how to take videos, so they are more than willing to help you out with that. Never mind, just take care of your safety as well. Mm -hmm. They make sure you have a good time. The food was to die for. Absolutely. I mean, she made an absolute feast, Maria did. Mm -hmm. It was incredible quality. She accommodated me being vegetarian. We just cannot speak highly enough of them. So if you come to Mobile, please do the canyoneering and especially do it with PH Kawasan Canyoneering. I think that's pretty much all we got for today for you. Do you think that's enough? Like we've had a full day. Yeah, I, I, I would probably go as fast as I'm actually quite tired. So yes. uh, resting up would be quite nice. Yes. So with that, until next time, take care. And keep smiling.